Hi, I'm Lobo and through these Anatomy 101 discussions, I'm going to utilize my body and different bones of my body to explain anatomy for you. So let's begin. All right. So again, welcome to another video and this is my friend Lobo and today we are going to focus on, yes, the knee joint. We will talk about the knee joint anatomy. This is the right knee. This is the left knee. What is this knee joint from the side? It's going to look something like this. You can see and from the front is going to look something like this. So this is the, uh, the knee joint. So first of all, what is knee joint? Knee joint is a kind of synovial hinge joint. This is not a ball and socket joint. It's a hinge joint where both the bones two bones are involved in this and three bones actually this is bone number one this is bone number two and this is little one is a bone number three so what we mean by uh, these three bones basically let me uh straight it up so what are the bones that are involved here three separate bones are involved here the first bone the largest bone here here uh, in our leg that is known as the femur the thigh bone with the rounded uh so the structures you can see that the round net condyle structures so this is the round shaped con condyle structure so if i move remove this you can see the round shaped condyle structures here okay and uh, the second one is uh, the tibia this is the bone tibia in the back we have the fibula the very thin bone but this is the tibia okay so between femur between tibia and the very small bone in front this is the kneecap in front of this joint and this is known as patella so tibia fibula uh, sorry so femur tibia and patella femur f tibia t and patella p f t b these are the three bones that are articulating the structure of a knee joint okay and obviously uh, with tibia there is fibula attached but this is not majorly linked with fibula the next thing that you need to talk about are ligaments now when talk about ligaments in this particular model there is no ligament shown so what i'll do i'm going to share the ligament structure with you for that i have this particular model the same thing you can see here if i place it like this because uh, this one is showing us the structures little better from the side view you can see that this is the femur half of femur is shown this is the tibia this is the fibula and a rest of the ligament uh, are visible meniscus are visible everything is kind of clear uh, as per this particular picture now what we can see here regarding the ligaments there are multiple type but again this is the tibia you can see the round condyles here and this is the uh, femur round condyles and this is tibia okay now this is the structure and the patella is here so actually this should be connected like this like this you can see this is the patella in the this is the patella but uh, it was uh, actually it was uh, supposed to be connected like that but due to a uh, mistake I, I mean uh, the rope is kind of disconnected so that's why it's something like this which is not normally that so what we can uh, see is that there are uh, different ligaments out there and this is very important to understand the ligaments that are uh, that are in place okay so when i talk about ligaments inside there are ligaments not this blue one but the other structures i believe can you see the other one this is a ligament let me uh, take this pen and uh, denote this is the ligament here inside of which this is a ligament okay this is the kind of ligament we are talking about i need to put a little more light so that you can see the ligament yes i believe you can see the ligament now right you can see the ligament right in the back yellow colored one this is the ligament so the ligament that is uh, visible out there there are two types anterior cruciate ligament acl and there is a posterior cruciate ligament pcl acl acl and pcl both are equally important anterior and posterior cruciate ligament both are placed out there very very important to know this okay apart from that there are other two ligament lateral collateral ligaments so you can see the lateral ligaments are quite easy to to visualize here both this side uh, this is one in this side another one is in this side okay so we have this uh, lateral collateral ligament lcl lateral collateral ligament and we also have medial collateral ligament medial collateral ligament now what this ligament signify let me give you an idea anterior cruciate ligament prevents anterior displacement the posterior cruciate ligament which is obviously in the back the posterior cruciate ligament on the other hand uh, prevents posterior displacement the medial uh, collateral ligament this one the medial collateral ligament this one you can see this is the medial collateral ligament the job of medial collateral ligament or mcl to stabilize the medial side 
and the job of lateral collateral uh, ligament this is the lateral collateral li ligament the job is to stabilize the lateral side so basically the li ligaments hold the structures together here you can see both uh, the ligaments quite e quite easily the anterior and posterior uh, cruciate ligaments are quite easily visible in this particular uh, from the back side from the posterior view you can clearly see that right is a posterior and anterior cruciate ligaments are visible now apart from that what else we need to talk about synovial capsule obviously between this between this uh, see the femur and this is the tibia here is the place where all the things are happening because this is the joint right and you know this is not a ball socket joint this is synovial hinge joint so in this case the synovial fluid is very important to keep the motion going right so it uh, encloses the joint synovial capsule encloses this whole joint and there's a little uh, membrane that's covering everything and it secretes the synovial fluid apart from that we have menisci okay meniscus uh, so plural menisci so the menisci is visible here with this uh, blue color this is the menisci uh, as per this particular model and the menisci you can see here there are uh, two types of menisci here medial menisci as well as the lateral menisci okay medial and lateral if you see from this side is going to be very much clear medial menisci and lateral this is the lateral one from side and medial menisci this one is a medial menisci medial and lateral menisci okay done so medial menisci is a c shaped uh, fibrocartilage c shaped you can see the it's it's its structure is like a c like a c c shaped structure while uh, the lateral uh, meniscus is a circular uh, fibrocartilage so this is nothing but a fibrocartilage that we are going to see from the back side you can see from the front you can see that even clearly okay apart from that there are also a uh, fluid filled sacs which is again like synovial fluid is not visible here because you cannot put fluid in this uh, anatomical model so those are known as bursi the fluid filled sacs that are present in here which reduces the friction between the bones okay because there is no proper socket so the friction is reduced due to the presence of bursi now let's talk about the muscles so we know that here this is how the structure is placed right this is how it is placed and this femur is connected to quadriceps quadriceps are there and hamstrings are present in the back here in the bottom so the muscle is not visible in this model it's not provided but we know that quadriceps muscles on the top and uh, the hamstrings in the bottom they hold them together let's talk about the movement that they have again three types of movement short form f e s fes f for flexion f for flexion e for uh, extension and s for slight rotation so from this this bending is the most common type you know this sort of bending flexion this is the most common movement and apart from this flexion we know apart from this flexion we also have the extension uh, so kind of stretch we kind of kind of pull this stretch our knee a little bit obviously we can do that as well as we have slight rotation ability not very much we cannot rotate too much but a little little amount of a uh, little amount of uh, rotation you can see this little amount of rotation is also possible three sorts of movements are possible here let's talk about the clinical significance and uh, the the clinical significance say meniscus tear so the meniscus can be teared out torn and as a result of which generally due to the sports injury if you are not pushing your limit of the knee joint harder generally does not happen the other one is ligament injuries like very common injuries are acl and uh, pcl tears very common all this ligament tearing is very very much common and obviously osteoarthritis this is something uh, that is really concerning and what we mean by osteoarthritis we are going to see that here just a moment so this is again a model uh, explaining the stages of osteoarthritis you can see that this is the normal one this is the normal one and slowly this is the early stage okay the the problem is starting here you can see uh, with red dot it's increasing this is the moderate stage and this is the advanced stage so what happens is in osteoarthritis again here okay uh, the degeneration of the joint you can see the joint structure the water layer is see, is provided here you can see this this uh, the, the the water layer layer that is that is present here there is generally bursi that is present here synovial fluid is there with age this fluid uh, may dry out and that causes the femur structure to collide with that of the tibia and as a result of this there is friction generated 
and nerve entrapment that cause huge pain swelling inflammation in that area and in some cases of autoimmune disorders as well uh, this may be triggered but in all these cases these are possibilities right so this is the significance if we talk about the function of this knee joint in our body it's very important weight bearing and obviously folding we know that this folding from this folding like this is possible so obviously folding is uh, another very important uh, job that they do and support uh, body weight and also locomotion is something that they used to utilize the most important ligament here is this one this one the one that i already destroyed this is the, the big one this is the anterior cruciate ligament here you can see this is the anterior cruciate ligament and generally when it is on the anterior cruciate ligament is so big you cannot see the posterior cruciate ligament so when we remove it inside of which you are going to see the, the posterior cruciate ligament for that i'm going to put a little more light and you can see the the, the same orange colored structures uh, like in the back side of this blue structure that is known as the orange one that is in back of the blue that is the posterior cruciate ligament or pcl and the front this is the acl and you know acl is connecting everything it's it's holding the tibia it's holding the uh, it's holding the femur with tibia as well as the patella in connection and this is a very common case where the acl injury is there uh, people can torn this acl uh, due to you know mostly due to sports injury in the back side you can clearly see the posterior uh, ligament the posterior cruciate ligament or pcl so both of them are very very important acl and pcl although there are four ligaments out there acl pcl mcl and uh, lcl but these are the the, the four that uh, these are the two that are more important for obviously this is acl uh, obviously in the back this is a pcl posterior cruciate cruciate ligament and obviously if you see from this angle uh, then we have lateral lateral collateral ligament lcl this one the lateral collateral ligament actually connects the uh, the, the femur with tibula and uh, this one in this side a little broader one is the medial collateral ligament or mcl these are the four ligament this is acl in the back we can see pcl and obviously this is the one that is lateral lcl and obviously in the right side this is the one this is medial collateral ligament or mcl okay four types of ligaments let's talk about the knee joint anatomy we have talked about the structures and all but now we are going to talk about the muscles attached to the knee joint the ligaments that are attached and also the tendons the blood supply and nerves that are present muscles quadriceps uh, femoris so you can see different muscles you have quadriceps muscles here see this is quadriceps muscle okay quadriceps femoris anterior aspect of the thigh is the location extends uh, the knee joint that is the function helps in the extension of the knee joint next are the hamstrings in this case this is the front okay this is the front this is back this is anterior side this is posterior side so in the back in the posterior side first aspect of the thigh this is the this is the hamstring muscle okay flexes the knee joint and extends the hip joint both flexation of the knee joint and extension of the hip joint both can be done with the help of hamstring that's why it's very important muscle strain in hamstring can be uh, causing problem not only in the knee but also in the hip next we have uh, popliteus okay popliteus is another muscle uh, so the the role is posterior aspect of the knee unlocks the knee joint and initiates the knee flexion which is not shown here but it is also important next one is ligament obviously here is the ligament is very very important the first one is acl anterior cruciate uh, ligament anterior cruciate ligament acl inside the knee joint this is the knee joint this is the knee joint inside the knee joint we have this anterior cruciate ligament prevents excessive forward movement of the tibia because if it's excessive forward movement will pop up okay pop out the next one is posterior cruciate ligament pcl posterior cru cruciate ligament is present which is not visible again in this picture because of the image but we have talked about that in anatomy model inside the knee joint prevents excessive backward movement so pcl prevents excessive backward movement and acl prevents excessive forward movement of the tibia next one is medial collateral ligament or mcl which is also not visible here medial collateral ligament the medial aspect of the knee is the location stabilizes the inner side of the knee joint stabilizes the inner side of the knee joint here you can clearly see the femur and the tibia in between we can see the meniscus okay 
Now, last one is lateral collateral ligament uh, or LCL. Lateral aspect of the knee is the location, stabilizes the outer side of the knee joint. These are all their loads and we know the patella is there and patella is being connected by the quadriceps, uh, quadriceps tendon to the, uh, to the top to the quadriceps muscle and via patella tendon to the tibia. So patella is connected via two different tendons, quadriceps tendons connected to the quadriceps muscle and the patella tendon connected to tibia. Okay. The next one are the tendons again patella tendon connection of patella to tibia so that is the location connecting patella and tibia aids in the knee extension next one if you talk about blood vessels then we have genicular arteries we have genicular arteries out there and genicular arteries provide the blood so the location is around the knee joint surrounding the knee joint supply blood to the structures around the knee what are the nerves that we found here femoral nerve we find femoral nerve here and uh, the position anterior aspect of the thighs, so if you talk about the thigh, then the anterior aspect we have femoral nerve, innervates muscle of the anterior thigh. All these thigh movements and thigh muscles are under the regulation of femoral nerve. That's why femoral because the nerve is related to the part of the bone that is femur. We have sciatic nerve as well. The, the presence of sciatic nerve is different. This is the presence of sciatic nerve actually in the posterior side. We can clearly see the sciatic nerve. Posterior aspect of the thigh, innervates muscle of the posterior thigh. Femoral nerve innervates with the muscles of the anterior thigh. Common peroneal nerve. Now we have peroneal nerves as well. Okay, these are common peroneal nerves. You can clearly see these this branches. These are common peroneal nerve. They are present lateral aspect of the knee, innervates muscles and skins of the lateral leg. Not only muscles, but skins of the lateral leg too. Then we have tibial nerve. Here you can see the tibial nerve. Okay, front like this and this side. So again, posterior aspect of the thigh innervates muscle and skin of the posterior leg. These are the four ones. Apart from that, we also have other things like deep peroneal nerve, superficial peroneal nerve. There are differences between these two. We have talked about that in the other lectures. But these are uh, the major nerve that we can clearly see that are present in the knee joint. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get more videos in future for free.